Hi everybody, welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I am so excited about tonight's book because it is very, very silly. Now, you've heard of the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? We've read that before. And then we read a very, very silly book about Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. That was fun and that was silly. Well, there's another Goldilocks book and something really crazy happens because this book is called Goldilocks has chicken pox. Goldilocks has chicken pox. Goldilocks gets the chicken pox. You know what chicken pox are? That's when you get sick and you get little dots all over your face and all over your body. Oh, they're so itchy and they're so annoying. And Goldilocks gets chicken pox. And in this book, Goldilocks's brother, he gives her a really hard time about having chicken pox. But we need to find out what happens. What happens to Goldilocks? What happens to brother? And about all these people that come to visit her, like Little Red Riding Hood and Little Bo Peep. This book is full of people we know. It's very exciting, and we need to get inside. Now, Goldilocks Has Chicken Pox was written by Aaron Dealey. And these silly, silly pictures were written by Hanaka Wakiyama. What a fun name. They are these great, great pictures. And I can't wait to read this book with you. We need to get inside and see what happens to Goldilocks when she gets chicken pox. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here Goldilocks has chicken pox. From head to toe were polka dots. Where did you get them? Father said. But Goldie only shook her head. Mrs. Lox phoned Mama Bear, apologizing for the chair. But Baby Bear did not have spots, for bears cannot get chicken pox. Can chickens get them? Brother yelled as Henny Penny rang the bell. The sky is falling, Henny squeaked. She had no time for chicken pox. So the hen came in yelling that the sky was falling and brother wants to know if chickens can get chicken pox, which they cannot. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, come and see my sister sick. But father told them, not today. When Goldie's better, you can play. Nope, couldn't have friends over because Goldilocks has chicken pox and they don't want the friends to catch it. Goldilocks had chicken pox. They started out as tiny spots. The rosy bumps began to form and Goldie's temperature was warm. On her tummy were 24. On her back she found 12 more. Altogether 36 small pink dots that itched and itched. Poor Goldilocks. It is no fun to have chicken pox. Please don't scratch them, Mother said. Let's connect them, shouted Brother. We might find a teddy bear or a secret message hidden there. Brother wanted to connect her dots on her face like she was a coloring book. Leave them be, agreed Bo Peep, who happened by in search of sheep. That's sound advice for chicken pox. It doesn't work for wayward flocks. Little Bo Peep was looking for her sheep, and she told Goldilocks, don't touch your chicken pox. Goldilocks has chicken pox, a type of virus, said the doc. Give her sodas, ice cream too, a nice cool bath will see her through. Yum, said brother, I want some. The doctor smiled, your time will come. No fair, cried Brother with a pout. She gets it all and I'm left out. Brother's mad that Goldilocks is getting lots of attention. But just wait, because everybody gets chicken pox. Little Red came skipping by, her basket full of cake and pie. Can Goldie come to Gramps with me? I sure would like the company. Goldilocks wants Goldie wants Little Red wants Goldilocks to go to Grandma's with her, but she can't go. She has chicken pox. Uh-oh, and look in the window. Is that the big bad wolf? 
but Goldilocks had chicken pox upon her hands. She wore her socks. Eek, a monster, brother teased, oozing polka dot disease, an alien from out of space. Her brother laughed and scratched his face. I'm super locks, you can't get me. My powers are too strong, you see. Brother thinks he's too strong to get chicken pox, but we'll see. Make him stop, cried Goldilocks. I can handle chicken pox, but how am I supposed to rest when my brother's such a pest? Goldilocks has had enough of little brother. Mother warned him, that will do. And then they saw them. Then they knew. What did they see on brother? Her brother's face showed all the signs in rosy polka dot designs. Now brother has chicken pox. Oh no, brother got the chicken pox. I knew it was gonna happen. When you're around somebody with chicken pox, you usually get chicken pox. And brother, he thought he couldn't get chicken pox because he was so strong. And he was giving Goldilocks such a hard time while she was trying to rest and get better. And what happened? Brother got chicken pox. Goldilocks had chicken pox, and then brother got chicken pox. What a silly, silly book. Do you believe that he wanted to take a crown and, and connect the dots on her face and make a picture? That is not what you do when you have chicken pox. When you have chicken pox, you have to get lots of rest, and she got lots of ice cream. That's always fun when you're sick, that you get spoiled a little bit with that, and it's okay because that's just how we take care of you. Goldilocks says Chicken Pox was a fun book, and I'm so glad we got to read it together. I enjoyed that. But now it's time for all of my little bears, little brothers, little Goldilocks to climb into bed. We want to keep you healthy, and to do that, you need to get a good night's rest. In fact, that's what we should pray about tonight. We should pray about you staying healthy. Would you pray about that with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to fold your hands and close your eyes. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for my friends and that they keep coming back to hear more stories. Please watch over and protect them tonight. Keep them healthy. Don't let them get any viruses. Don't let them to get sick. Don't let them get a cold because I want to see them again really, really soon. And I want them to stay healthy so that they can play outside and do all the things we get to do when we're healthy. If anybody is sick, please get them better really, really soon so they can come back and be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Goldilocks, little bear, little brother, whoever you want to be tonight, time for you to jump into bed and get a good, good restful night's sleep. I need you to cuddle up, curl up, and get ready to go to sleep. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. And be sure to let Miss Dorothy know what book you want to hear next. I'm sitting here going through all my books, and we've read so many that I'm running out of books. You need to tell Miss Dorothy what book I should read next. Send me a note or stop by my office and bring in a book or give me a call, whatever you want to do. Miss Dorothy would love to hear from you and I will call out your name and read your book. But for now, I need everybody to go off to sleep. I'm going to be right here waiting to read you another book. And until I see you again, obey and obey right away. And I'll be right here waiting. Can't wait till you come back. Bye. Mm -hmm.